So I've always been a storyteller. You know, my, one of the criticisms my friends have of me is if they ask one simple little thing of me, I'm going to give them this huge hoo-ha before I finally, <laughs> finally answer their question. I can't help it. I, I'm sorry. I can't help it. That's just how I am. My whole family is that way. So the storytelling was always there. When I was a little girl, now here's another element of why I became an author. Um, my family never had money, so when I got invited to a little girl's birthday party, we couldn't buy her a present. So I would do a wordless book about her, and I would draw the pictures, sew it, bind it. It was a little book, and I called them fat cards. Two of my friends still have them. Jeez, and that's been 60-some years. At any rate, here I was, you know, restoring icons for museums. And I think the thing that actually pushed me into becoming a children's author, uh, my son was diagnosed with insulin-dependent diabetes when he was nine years old. We were sent home from the hospital with two shopping bags full of material he had to read. And I thought, you know, he's just a little kid. And at that time, I knew nothing about diabetes. I am now an expert on juvenile diabetes. But I, I've realized fairly early in the game, all any diabetic wants to know is how do you keep me on my feet for one day? That's all I want to know. I don't want to know any of the other stuff. So the very first book I did, if you want to call it professionally, was a wordless book for my son, showing him what was expected of him to get through one single day healthy. Diabetics have to rotate their sites. They have to give themselves insulin injections. They have to test their blood. They have to eat at a certain time, exercise at a certain time. It's a very regimented schedule that eventually he fell into easily. So anyway, Thatcher Hurd is a friend of mine. My mother introduced him to his wife, Olivia. Thatcher Hurd, by the way, if you don't know, his father is Clemency Hurd. Clemency Hurd and Margaret Wise Brown made Good Night Moon. And Thatcher is also an author and illustrator. At that time, I lived in the San Francisco Bay Area. And Thatcher said, why don't you come along to meetings of the SCBW? Now it's called SCBWI. I said, well, why do you think I should do that? He says, well, you know, I think this is something you, you can do. He saw that book, and he said, why don't you think about it? So I started to go along to meetings, one meeting a month with fabulous authors and illustrators. And within a year, I knew how the books are formatted. Most children's picture books are 32 pages, double-sided. Mine are a little longer because I'm pretty wordy. Um, but at any rate, I want to say 26 years ago, my mother bankrolled a trip for me to go to New York and take all of the rough dummies. Now, a rough dummy is a black and white version of a book as you see it now. It's, it looks like it, but it's not in color. That's what you show a publisher if you're trying to interest them in a project. So my mother bankrolled a trip for me. She came with me to New York 27 years ago. I saw 16 publishers in one week. I multiple submitted. Uh, that meant four portfolio reviews a day, and I sold everything I had that week. And the rest is history. <laughs>